Thank you, my dear. My name is Colonel Frank H. W. Miller. I am most thankful to be addressing you at Christmas time from my home. It's one of the most splendid times of the year. Over the past few weeks, I've been asking myself a question, which I would now like to ask you. Are you ready for Christmas? When you talk to colleagues or friends, they might be asking you if your cards have all been written and delivered. Or they might say, have you bought all your presents and wrapped them? They might ask which programmes you'll be watching on television this Christmas time, or what entertainment you might partake in. I, for one, really enjoy playing charades. What meals might you eat? What decorations have you got? You've probably been thinking about all of these things for several weeks already. I'd like to direct your attention to a slightly different question about readiness. It's a question you might need to think over for a few moments. Here it is. Are you ready for Jesus now that he isn't a baby? Often most babies can settle down for hours at a time and you can get on with other things. God is challenging us today to remember that we can't ignore Jesus and what he has done. It's not good just to think about him only once a year. We need to be ready to refocus our attention on his life and example much more frequently. Sin, badness and selfishness have wrecked our relationship with God and with each other. Jesus chose to come to earth. He was the only one who could mend our relationship with God and he did about three decades after his birth in Bethlehem. That's what Christmas is about. God becoming man so that we can be changed and made new again. Our lives change for the better when we remember that Jesus didn't remain a baby. He became a grown man. He taught us many things and indeed there are lots of things in the Bible to discover about him. The main point that he said is that God loves us too much to leave us all alone. Jesus came so that our lives could change. Our lives can be transformed when we refocus and follow what Jesus said and did. Let's talk to Jesus this Christmas, not like he is a baby. Dada, Mama, woo 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 woo, la la la. But let's talk to Jesus as he is now. Jesus, be my saviour, my Lord. Jesus, be my friend. I hope to discuss some more important themes with you in the near future. But until then, my wife and I wish you a most peaceful, yet really transforming Christmas this year. Happy Christmas and cheerio.